Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Alright, what is up guys, this is my review for Guardians of the Galaxy 2. This movie was released in April, late April this year, and is obviously the sequel of Guardians of the Galaxy. Now this movie obviously follows the coattails straight off the first Guardians of the Galaxy. I won't really release too much about the plot, but basically they have the, the Guardians just on the new mission, and then they bump into someone, and they basically start off, they bump into a, into a Kurt Russell character, which leads them on a whole other, you know, you know, a whole other path, basically. I won't tell you much because it is a really good plot, and I, I give them that, and I won't reveal too much about it. But Kurt Russell, I mean, adding him to an already good cast with Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, Dave Bautista, Bradley Cooper, Vin Diesel, uh, Michael Rooker. It, it's just a phenomenal thing they did, as well as have S uh, Sylvester Stallone in there as well. So, uh, an A grade and a half cast, I think it was amazing there. But this movie... I mean, had a hard job to do because Guardians of the Galaxy was such a success. It was a movie that kind of came out of nowhere, kind of made Chris Pratt a movie actor instead of just Parks and Rec TV kind of guy. It made him bigger guy, bigger actor, set him up for just world, and it kind of it bring up something new because we hadn't really seen a style like that. Like Marvel movies seem to have the same formula. The the biggest thing I have, biggest problem I have with the Marvel movie, it has the same formula. It has that action, 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 action. Just throw some comedy in when you can, and uh, this. The first Guardians kind of had different elements. It had that comedy, but it was more it was more of a comedy than the other ones were. It wasn't as full on action. Like yes, it had some cool scenes, but a very space based, and it was kind of cool to see that as well. It has some very very cool charm, which I think uh, it was easily the most charming the movie could be as a Marvel movie. So this movie, the 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 second movie, the sequel had a big job to do, and did it do it? No, was it as good as the first one? No, it wasn't. But was it a good movie? Yes. It did have elements of the normal Marvel stuff. It did throw in a lot of action and a lot of comedy. This movie was heavily reliant on comedy, which I really had a problem with. Because I don't like when movies completely rely on comedy, because if you rely on comedy, what else have you got? They did, they have, like, hit this hard with the jokes. Did they hit all of the time? No. But did they hit a lot of the time? Yes. So that's a good thing, I suppose. They did hit the majority of the jokes they did, and I did this here a second time. I saw it again, and it did. It the the joke stood out, which is good because you need longevity, and you want the jokes to stand up. Because if they go away, then you're left with a movie no one wants to watch, to watch twice. So, saying that though, they did add elements really well with character development. I think that was the, just the tick that they had in this movie was character development. We saw more out of Chris Pratt's character um, with with Kurt Russell's, you know, came, between them, the dynamic between those characters really showed Chris Pratt's you know, development in uh, in in Star Lords. His character really developed more, as well as Rocket as a character. We saw him develop more. We obviously didn't see much of Groot because it was Baby Groot, but Baby Groot was really really enjoyable character. I thought he was going to get a bit annoying, but he was a very cute, fun character to have around. I think Gamora's character was forced with some felt with some development. I think Nebula was really forced in there, thrown in there to give her character development, and it did not work. I don't think anyone really enjoyed Nebula. I don't think anyone really liked her character, which sucks because it, it it made it annoying when she was on screen, and then you don't get much development ever. Gamora, but the biggest star of this movie has got to be Michael Rooker as Yondu. Yondu shined in this movie; he was phenomenal. He saw so much development out of his character, making an emotional connection that we hadn't seen in the first one. We saw a lot more of Yondu in this movie, and a lot. I think a lot more people like Yondu now. I think we really, really felt for Yondu in this movie. Really. Really got you emotionally tied with his character with Star Lord and what happened there. So Peter's character and Yondu do have some chemistry there. So that was really good. Uh, saying that though, this movie, I mean, development was probably the biggest tick you can get. I think the action was very cool. The opening scene was phenomenal. That was probably one of my favorite things in any Marvel movie. I think it was a lot of fun that first scene. It was, it was awesome with the the music that they did in this movie. These scores are amazing. Like, that is the highlight for Guardians of the Galaxy. You know what movie, music you know expect. And it hits now on the head again with this stuff. So, saying that though, I think this movie again really, really heavily relies on comedy, but it does give you that action, does give you that character development, and gives you you know some some plot. But again, the plot does have some points for people that were not necessarily needed in this movie. I think Nebula would probably you know could have taken her out, as well as these yellow alien people. I don't know who the fuck they were, but they weren't necessary. They were coming in and you'd be like, oh yeah, they're still around. Okay. And you know that's what they were, but saying that, guys, I think this guy, this this movie did deliver as a sequel should. I think 
I think the first one should always be the best one. I think that 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 should be you know you really I know it sucks because you, you you're following up and you you want it to get better, but the first one is the first one. Like you want the first one to be better because that's the one that bang, it's the one you go yes, give me a sequel because you want it. Should the sequels be bad? Hell no. But I think the first should always be the original, the great, the fantastic one. But that's usually never the not never the case, but that's rarely the case. Um, with usually a sequel will become better than the original, but I, in this case, I think Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One stands up uh, instead of Volume Two. So I'm going to give a B, which is I think a, a, a great rating. This is definitely an enjoyable movie and definitely a great movie. Uh, you should go check it out. I think Marvel is still hitting the nail on the head with their movies. I'm looking forward to Spider Man, the next Marvel movie that comes out. I think in about three weeks because I'm filming this in in mid June, so it would be about three weeks away. So I'm a bit late with this review. You guys know that if you watch my other reviews. But anyway, you guys know what to do. You guys can like, you can subscribe, you can turn on the notifications so you know when I'm doing videos. You can subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter so you know when the videos are coming out as well. If you're not on YouTube all the time, as well as get below, get into the conversation below. Bit of a tongue twister, but I got there anyway. Have a good one, guys.